Dear students, now I'll be introducing you to the topic of dynamic programming. While we are trying to compare two biological sequences, such as two DNA sequences or two RNA sequences or a couple of protein sequences, in that case, we can use pairwise sequence alignment and the problem included sliding the two sequences across each other in such a way that the nucleotides or the amino acids corresponding to each other which were matching were aligned and maximized. So this was the idea behind pairwise sequence alignment and towards that we wanted to introduce insertions, deletions and mutations. Moreover, the topic of pairwise sequence alignment had two variations. The first one was the local alignment while the second one, the global alignment. In the local alignment, we tried to match small subsequences within one sequence to the other sequence. While in the global alignment, we extended both of the sequences in such a manner that their lengths became equal and we then tried to maximize the match. So coming back to the topic, to perform alignment, we used to have a dot plot in which a matrix was created with one sequence written on top and the other on the left side. And for each one of the matching uh, nucleotides or amino acids, we placed a dot on that position. So let's take a look. So here is the matrix that we were using and the sequences are written here on top and on the left in such a way that the matching nucleotides because as you can see this is either a DNA or an RNA sequence both of them so the matching positions were indicated by these dots so C match with a C A match with an A and so on and so forth so all of these matches were indicated by these dots like that it is important to note that these dots are positioned on the corners of these grid points. So what we are going to do now is try to capture insertions, deletions and mutations in this dot plot. In, the, in their current form, the dot plots cannot capture this information because you only indicate the matches in the matrix. Those nucleotides which are not matching with the top and the left sequence or amino acids, they are not labeled in any way. But you know that biological sequences, they vary from each other by uh, insertions, deletions or mutations. So we need to modify this dot plot scheme in order to include the insertions of amino acids or nucleotides deletion of amino acids or nucleotides and mutations of both of these molecules. So let's see how to modify the dot plot. So this is how the dot plot was looking up till now. So the first thing that we need to do is to get rid of the dots that are put here. So I have erased all of these dots as you can see and as a next step I'm going to slightly shift these sequences so that they are no longer on the end of the grid like that. Rather, they are placed at the center of the grid position. So let's see how this change takes effect. So I've removed the sequences and I have shifted them such that now A, C, A, C, G and the other sequence which is exactly the same. Uh, except one nucleotide is placed in the center positions of these grid points like that. So just to review earlier these nucleotides were positioned here now they are positioned in the middle of the grid point. So only difference between this form and the previous one is the position of the sequences. So after positioning these sequences 
in the middle of the grid points now what you need to also incorporate is insertions deletions and mutations or substitutions so matches are indicated by plus one and mismatches and substitutions are indicated by minus one more so the gaps can also be incorporated in such a plot 